Hi, I'm Mike Merritt, and in this video, we'll introduce the use of logic commands as well as a few other random commands. We'll be working with the lung cap data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. I'll now introduce the use of logic commands, how we can turn these into numeric indicators, and how to bind columns together. These will be introduced working through a particular example, although their use can be applied to many different situations. We will restrict ourselves to only looking at the first five observations so that we can see all the data on the screen and observe what's happening. We'll begin by taking a look at the age of the first five individuals. We can create a logic vector or variable asking our whether or not age is greater than 15. I will store this in an object called temp, and here we would like an answer to the question, is age greater than 15? We can see when looking at the first five observations of this object, we'll return the answers false, true, true, false, and false. Now, let's take a look at the use of the as.numeric command to have R return these as 0 and 1 indicators. 0 for a value of false, 1 for true. I will save these in an object called temp2, and here we would like R to record as a numeric variable an answer to the question, is age greater than 15? Again, taking a look at the first five observations, we can see R is returning zeros where the answer is false, one where the answer is true. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the first five observations for all of our data. We can use multiple logical statements within an R command to have a logical vector answering multiple questions. For example, we can create a vector indicating those who are female and smoke. I will save this in an object called femsmoke, and we would like an answer to the question, is gender equal to female? And is smoking equal to yes? And remember, we need to use double equal signs here to indicate the value of equality. Here, if we take a look at the first five observations, we can see the only one for which a value of true is returned is the second individual. And taking a look at the data, we can see this individual is a female and they do smoke. We can attach vectors or matrices in a column-wise fashion using the cbind command, as well as attach them in a row-wise fashion using the rbind command. Let's go ahead and attach this femsmoke variable to the entire dataset using the cbind command. Here I will save this in an object called more data, and we would like to bind together in a column-wise fashion the lung cap data and we'd like to attach to these the variable femsmoke. We can see if we take a look at the first five rows of this data, we now have our original data set and we've appended on another column on the right side this variable femsmoke. One final note on clearing the workspace, if you wish to remove all objects from R's workspace, you may do so using the drop-down menus within RStudio, or you may use the following command. We would like R to remove, and the object we would like to remove is the list of all objects in the workspace memory. We can now see we've wiped R's workspace clean. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.